In this video, we're going to introduce a new course, which will be based on Blender 3.5, so the new version of Blender, and it's going to be about architecture. So first thing you want to do is to download Blender 3.5 from the official website, of course, and just uh, if you don't know how to do it, if you never did it before, it's uh, pretty easy. Just search for Blender in Google and once you are here, you can click on the first result or just directly to the download page. And this is where you can click on the button and download Blender 3.5. And this is free open source. You don't need to buy anything or pay for anything. It's totally free. This is the first advantage of uh, using um, Blender. So you can see I am downloading it and I will download it in the download folder as usual and when it's ready we're gonna install it now while it downloads we can check the the website here we can see the features now you can use blender for rendering modeling sculpting compositing and a lot of more and you will find also other video courses in the channel talking about specifically modeling and rendering and also sculpting so you will find a character uh, design video course digital sculpting and also you will find uh, some other courses in um, rendering and architectural visualization and also uh, with plugins. But we're going to do like an overview. Now we're going to use Blender, but also we're going to use add-ons. Add-ons can be really helpful uh, for many, many reasons. Some of these are for free, some of these are uh, for sale. And you, we can see also that uh, Blender has a lot of uh, add-ons or plugins already installed, pre-installed, so we can just go there and activate them. And by the way, you can always have a look to the Blender 3.5 manual where you can, uh, you know, if you're interested in something, you can go there and deepen your knowledge in a particular topic. So just search for Blender manual on the web if you want to get there and you will find a lot of sections talking about user interface, editors, scenes, modeling, sculpting and painting and so on. Now again we already did another video course dedicated to the user interface, the basic things, how we can create uh, primitive objects, 3D modeling and we also created another video course talking about digital sculpting and sculpting and painting and creating a 3D character. So in this course, we're gonna concentrate in the 3D modeling for architecture. So it's called 3D architecture for this reason. And we are not, we're gonna see more about modeling than uh, about rendering because that's another um, topic. It's called architectural visualization. So you can uh, create your buildings in Blender and then you can also render them. So we're gonna specifically talk about how to create buildings, how to create architecture, how we can do interior design, furnishing, and landscape design as well. So the terrain around our uh, project, and we will see how we can uh, take um, 2D references and build on, on top of those and create the 3D model. So we're gonna do this with um, using uh, polygonal modeling mainly, and we're gonna see the, the quick way or the, the more precise way and so on. So we're gonna talk about tools and features of Blender that can help us to develop architecture. Now, uh, you can use Cycles. It's the render engine inside Blender, which is already explained again in the other uh, video course about Blender. So uh, we can use materials, we can use lights. And if you want something more advanced, you can also choose other render engines. So you can then go, for example, to Octane Blender, which is another important and wonderful render engine that we can install in, uh, in Blender. Or there is a version of Blender actually using Octane, but everything is covered in the Octane for Blender video course. Again, you will find it in the channel. And we can use other solutions if we want. For example, if you wanna do architecture, usually um, the, the most popular software is 3ds Max, so 3D Studio Max, or you can use either for modeling or rendering, but 
talking about modeling specifically, you can use 3ds Max, you can use Cinema 4D, you can use Rhino, you can use um, SketchUp, and these are the more um, similar to, to Blender, like SketchUp or 3ds Max or Cinema 4D or Maya, they are pretty similar to, to Blender. And then, of course, if you want to move into rendering, you also have other options, like um, really simple applications like Enscape or uh, Lumion or Twinmotion, really easy to use, or something a little bit more complex like V-Ray and Corona if you want to have like more realistic look. And you will find all the video courses in the channel. So if you're interested, just look in the uh, channel, you will find courses in all these software and plugins. Twinmotion also is another important one and um, you can use it for free uh, if you don't use it commercially and so it's not open source like Blender. So Blender, we're gonna use Blender because Blender is totally open source, totally free. So anyone can use it. Anyone can start to work in architecture using 3D software for free using Blender. And you can see many examples of 3D architecture here. So again, if you're interested in creating a um, building or a exterior architecture, interior architecture, then this is the right course. Otherwise, you can switch to another that you can find again in the channel. So we're gonna talk how to uh, build architecture in Blender, how we can plan, how we can uh, build from scratch. Now, uh, Blender is downloaded, so I can go in the download folder of my computer, double click, and again, you can use Blender for Mac and Windows. So in this case, I'm gonna show you Windows, but it's pretty much the same thing when you do uh, the, the installation in the Mac. It, it, it's taking some time, so you, you need to give some permission to install it, and then you are in the wizard. And re it's really easy to install it here. Just click on Next, accept the general um, GPL license, and go continue, install it. So it's really easy, choose a folder if you want, but I just uh, went on with the default folder and installation. So after a while, kind of two minutes, three minutes, you're ready. So the software will be installed. You click on finish and that's the icon there on the desktop. So you, if you double click on that, it's gonna open up the software. Otherwise you need to search it in your system. Now we have a welcome screen here where we can change the language if we want. So uh, if you want to use uh, English or Italian or French or whatever language is there. And also we can uh, do some other setups here, like the, the color of the interface. Well, I'm going to keep it the default, which is dark, but you can also try others. And you can see we have Maya version or Modo, which is another software that we can use for 3D modeling. Now the space bar, since we are not doing animation, you can switch it from the play, which is more um helpful when you do animation you can switch it from play to tools so you can access the the the, the other tools that may be more um helpful than animation since we're not going to talk about animation in this course we're just going to focus on again the creation of the 3d scene uh exterior interior outdoor indoor now uh, you can also load or save the settings and when you're ready just click uh, outside and then you are inside the Blender application. Now, if I press the spacebar key of my keyboard, you can see I can access the tools. Now, these tools are also available in the left side, as we know, and but now we can hide them because we don't really need them. We can access them with the spacebar if we want. This is an option. Now, I'm gonna keep it as simple as I can. I'm gonna leave the things as default as I can. So. Um, I'm gonna do step by step, so don't worry. But I definitely suggest that if you don't know how to use the Blender basics, you go to check the Blender video course. This is uh, something a little bit more advanced than the base, basic uh, Blender video course. Now, if I go to view, I can change the aspect of my interface and I wanna make it similar to 3ds Max or similar application. So what I wanna do is go to toggle the four um, views like this. So uh, usually when you open a 3D software like Rhino or 3ds Max or Maya, they always have these four views um, setup or four views interface. Now you can switch it. You can also see the, the shortcut key.
keys there, Control Alt and Q, and you can switch from one or the other. Now, in my opinion, it's better to split the main view right here. So if you go to the corner, right click and do a vertical split, right there you will split it into two. And then again, we can right click and split it with horizontal split into three parts. And this is already better in my opinion, but if I want, you can also do another vertical split like this, so you have four views. Now I think that four views are the best when you work in architecture because uh, you probably wanna move into from 2D views into 3D views and you wanna switch rapidly. Now if you click on the middle bounce button, which is your scroll wheel, you can scroll the, the, the bars of the tools on the top and then we can change the visualization and make it a wireframe visualization. And then we can orbit with the orbit tool there. And if we click on the X and Z and Epsilon, we can set up the front, the side, and the top views. And then we have the perspective down there on the bottom uh, right. So this is how 3ds Max is set up uh, according to the latest version, but also how other software are set up. Now, if we go to edit preferences, this is also where we can set up some things and we can change the language. We can change some really important preference. And this is where we can get the add-ons. So you can see there are a lot of add-ons that are turned off at the moment. We can use them. We're gonna see which, which ones are the best when we do architecture in the following lessons. And some of these are already turned on but we can turn them off so we, we can manage all the application settings and the add-ons right here. So this is also where we can change again the language. So for example, I can uh, say Italian and now it's gonna change almost everything into Italian language. So if I am French, I can use uh, the French, I can use um, all the other languages that I find there. Some of them are partially uh, translated, some of them are totally uh, translate them. So you can see there now if I go there, it now is is not in English but is uh, in Italian. So pick your language if you want, but I'm gonna use of course the default language which is English, just like the any other thing will be in, in the default state, so everyone can follow without any issue. Now if you're interested in the course, subscribe to the channel to stay updated in the following lesson. If you want to support us, join the channel as a supporter. This is going to be all for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.